Right, welcome back everybody. Um, sorry about the, the mess and the absolute chaos of the beastie room, because it's a diabolical mess at the moment. We are in the middle of refurbing, but that's, a, that's for another day. What we're gonna do today is, I've got a number of slings and stuff that we've bred that are all got to go out in the post. And I've had quite a few people now have asked me, can we see how you catch them up um, and how we, we pop them and, and do different things. So I figured that's what we're gonna to do today. So one of the things that we got going out um, first is um, a bunch of HMAX. Now we're gonna do 50 HMAX in a tub. Now you'll see in a moment that um, they're all still in together. And I tend to keep most of my slings all together. Now, I know a lot of people will um, separate them all into individual pots. To be totally honest with you, I haven't got the time to feed 3,000 pots. So I tend to keep them all, as long as I can, in a group situation. And, uh, and it seems to work really well. So what I do first off, when we're doing a group one like that, is I get my, my bit of tissue, three long squares of it, and I literally just fold it round like so. And then I put that into a small deli cup like this. We just open it out. We don't need to, we don't need to get two, um, two crackers about it. And then what we can do is we'll do another one. There's one here. This is just two squares again. We fold it in half, so we've got one square. Half again, half again. That will give us our base. And pull that in there like so. And try and pull this up. Now the idea of this is to give them a nice, soft, secure... Um, enclosure in which to travel and what we do is we soak it down like this quite a bit of water stick some around the outside as well and it's important that um, when you're posting your spiders whether they're adults or slings that um, they don't dry out in transit they do you know they really benefit from a little bit of moisture so that's nice and you can see it's not wet that's just nice and moist that's fine, a little bit for luck. Then what we do is we get another piece here. We square this like so, nice and easy. We just screw that up, plonk that in there. Like that. Now if you look at that, there's 101 different places to hide in there. So that means that we can put our group of HMAX in there. We've got one for OBTs and we're going to do one for geniculatas as well. Be careful, camera lady. Don't fall over. So that one's ready for the OBTs. We've got one already made up for our HMAX, one made up for our geniculatas. Now we're also going to move um, some Cambridge eyes. These are a little bit larger and these have been on their own. So we need to post these individually. If we put them all together like we're gonna do with these, they'll eat each other. So we've got some little pots made up. You've seen these before. And then we're also gonna move some of our um, Malaysian nerve tigers. And what we do with them is we got a little two mil pot like this. And all we do is have a little bit of water in there like so. We put a bit of tissue in the bottom, as you can see. We add some water. As you'll see, we're not being, um, you know, you don't, you don't need to fluff this about too much. It's all very simple. What we do now is we fill all these up. Remember, we want a little bit of moisture in there. We don't want them drying out in transit. Oh, 
there. As you can see, we put dry tissue in there to start with. Lovely. So that's them. So then all we do is we push our tissue down. This is to give our spidling some room. As you can see. Now what we're going to do is once we've got our spidling in here, we literally plug the other end with another piece of damp tissue. And that's him done. Now I hear some people say, oh blimey, there's no air holes in there. These guys don't breathe like you and I. And there is more than enough oxygen to keep that little spider going for the next 24 hours or more. You'll find small spiders like these get sent all over Europe in these. And they can be anything from a week or more in the post. No harm whatsoever. So, that's them ready. Now then. Now I've done the hard bit, I'm gonna hand over to the professional spider catcher, namely camera lady, because she does all of the catching and all the counting as well. So, we're gonna go over now and uh, we're gonna watch how it's supposed to be done. Pause. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're now going to um, catch the Cambridgeii slings. Now these are quite quite grown on little fellas, and as you can see there, look at that, straight in the pot, no problem whatsoever. So we've already got our little bit of tissue in there, so we now go with our second bit. That's it. And we just close that up, put the lid on. It's as easy as that. There we go, let's get number two down. And then, um, this one's a little bit bigger. You can see that one, very nice. All right, let's see where we go. And come up the other way. And he's in. Lovely job. Nice and simple. And there we have it. As we said before, the Cambridge UI go in on their own purely because of their size. They are big, and as you can see, they've been sitting on their own all this time. If we was to mix them now, the chances are they would end up trying to eat each other. If they're kept communally, when they're younger, a little bit younger, then it is possible to ship them all together. But I have found recently that um, there's a very thin line between um, the ages in which they can be moved like that. So it's actually been more beneficial to do them singly. All right, last one. This one's malted in the pot. Over there. There we go. This is a big monster, this one. Look at that. Lovely job. Now, these were all moved over into these pots purely so that I could count them and separate them ready to go out. They're not generally kept in these pots full time. This one's going to be out in a moment. Here he comes. It's a lovely big spider. Look at that. Very nice. Right. Almost 
almost there. There we go. There's the end. Oh. Yep, there he goes. Look at that. Perfect. That's it. You notice there's nothing to be afraid of with these slings. They're quite big slings, but they're, they're not aggressive. We don't need to worry. Right then. Well done. That's them done. So we'll remove those out of the way. And now, I think what we're going to do, we are, oh, okay. Camera lady has chosen. Um, right, yes, we can go with geniculatus. Um, where are the geniculatus? Here we go. Now then, you'll see, you'll see here that um, these are our nursery pots. This is what I use. And um, basically, that's a large deli pot, the tall one. And then we have a, another deli pot inside, which is cut. And you can see this is the base of the deli pot. And then all we do is we, we put a pair of ladies tights in here. That's what this is here. You can see that there. And all we do is we stretch that over, push the other deli cup inside. I will show you one at the end of this video. And then we have water in the bottom. This water stays at room temperature. And in here it's 80 degrees. So this evaporates up through the stocking in the bottom as you can see that's the floor at the bottom there and it keeps these guys nice and moist all the time so we never have to worry about them drying out or anything like that now in this pot here we have got 700 geniculata now these are all going to go out together so what we're going to do now is we are going to or i say we camera lady is going to move these all over into there. So here we go. So I think what we're going to need to do. Will you need my help with this? Possibly. Lift this up with that. Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to try and actually move them all at once. So we put that over there like so. Then we can lift that one out. <laughs> right, hold on one moment. Let me get let me get the tripod and I can help. Right, hold on, hold on. Right, okay. I think we're good to go. Right. So what we're gonna do is we are now going to tease this out of here. There we go, nice and easy. We can now get rid of that tub, so we don't need that. And what we've got in here is all of our babies. Some of them are going to be in the pot, some of them are going to be in the, in the tights. So we've got to be very, very careful. Okay. I wonder if you can see that, guys. You can see where they all are. Look at them all. I think I can come back with the camera. There's a paintbrush there. There you go. Now these are the um, Ascura geniculata. And these are ones that we bred from our, our big girl, the giant Brazilian giant white knee. What we're doing is we're just going to brush them all off. Got to be quite gentle with them. 
I'll say there is 700 in here. Camera lady has already counted these once. There's a lot there. Now because these have all been kept communally in these tubs, we have no worry about moving them, shipping them like this. They'll be fine. There we go, look at all of them. lovely little things. Now these have already had a feed so they're strong little individuals. All right, here we are back again. As you can appreciate it takes a little time to uh, to move 700 slings so we didn't want to bore you with the whole concept but you got the idea. What we're doing now is we're just teasing them down into the. That's a slough. <laughs> that can stay there. So we're just gonna we're just teasing them down. As you can see, it's really full in there. And because these are such light-bodied things, they'll be fine. And we're just teasing them into the actual centre because that's where they're going to be safest. As you can see they're lovely strong little slings. Absolutely stunning little things. And if you want a nice big terrestrial spider, you won't go wrong with one of these. Very showy spiders, always out. Got a nice bit of attitude about them too. Right then, how are we getting on here? Mm -hmm. Sort of here, and just pull the edges up. So just pull them up a little bit. That should be good to go. That's it. That's fine. They're all under there. So what we've got now is we've got a nice piece of um, damp, damp tissue all the way round. That's it. We get that on there and we just literally put that in nice and gently so it's around the edges. And that's that sealed now. And we get our lid with our name on it. That's the one. So we know who we got. And all we do now is put a little bit of tape on there just to secure it. And as you can see, there's no... Um, there's no air holes or anything in this. We don't want them wandering off, getting out. They'll be fine in there in the post. Right, so that's that one done. We're cracking on. Now then, OBTs. Now these are always good for a laugh. So here we have our OBTs. Now we counted these out earlier on. As you can see, these are of a, of a good size. And these should be fine to travel together. As you can see, they're all in a thing at the moment. Right. Now then, with these, these can quite often all run out and disappear at once. So, we're moving further and further away. As you can see, it's in the same, that's it. It's in the same setup that the geniculatus was in. We'll just have a little look in there. I'll bring it over here a bit. There we go. Now, believe it or not, there is 30 in there. And now we're gonna get them in that pot. All right, away you go. It takes a bit of a steady hand and you've got to be 
careful now because as you can imagine we've got 30 OBTs in here if we make them spook all at once then we will end up with them all over the desk so what I've got to do now is literally try and catch them without upsetting everybody not always easy, as easy as said as done there's one Okay. Now notice here now, camera lady's got that on her hand. This is this is an OBT. We often hear about people being very nervous about rehousing their OBT slings. When they're of this size, it really isn't much of a bother. They're not really into wanting to bite you. They're tiny, tiny little things. So you can relax, as you can see there. No problem at all. There we go. As long as he's got something to run to, he'll go in. There you go. Cracking looking things, aren't they? How are we getting on? Here we go, another one. See how quick and easy this is? We're moving so fast I can't focus quick enough. There we go. See if we can tease another one out. Now bearing in mind when we're doing this we've got to keep an eye on the pot that we're filling up as well. So <laughs> we've got to be a little bit careful. As you can see there, we're literally walking them up the side of the pot using our little our little sling pot as a catch cup. There we go. Come on, little fella. We're going to need to move this one along a little bit. There we go. He's good. Only another 27 to go. Oh, he shot out. Where did he go? Oh, he's on the desk. See, now look, this is what we've got to do. So we've got our catch cup. As you can see there, we're just going to tease him up with a paintbrush. There he goes, straight up. Now we can just flick him back in. There you go. Subtle touch of the camera lady there. I'm not good at the flicking. <laughs> Get this one. There we go. You're getting the idea. Lovely job. Right, we shall catch these up. We'll see you in a moment. Now we get a bit of rhythm going now. She's got her eye in. Another doobly. Another doobly. Here we go. Look at this. Now she is available for hire. I'm not. <laughs> Chief spider catcher. <laughs> She's not cheap though, I must have warned you now. There we go. I don't think there's much left in there, is there? There's a, just a couple. Oh, you missed the pot. On the floor. Have you fit? Ready? Yeah. There we go.
as you can see, no drama. doesn't always go to plan, but it's no drama. We can pick them up quick enough, which is what you need to remember. If your if your um, sling does bolt, it shoots off. It's not the end of the world. You can always catch them up again. Mm. Is there any left? I think we might have one in there. Hold on. No, it's a slough. It's a slough. Well done. Is that everybody? Yeah. As you can see there, nice clean pot. Actual fact. Right, we'll um, put that on there. If you can just fold the corners in. Yes, yeah, so we don't put no pressure on that. We literally just fold the corners in. The lid will hold it in place as long as it's got all its edges in. We've already moistened the tissue paper. And that's them guys ready to go. Now what I can do now is show you this one. This is a little bit easier now. As we were saying earlier on, these are our nursery pots. And you can see there's water in the bottom of that. And then we just have the bit of stocking on the inside. So if, uh, if camera lady would like to take the, take the camera for a moment, I will show you how this works. So we've had our spiderlings in there. As you can see, that's a normal size deli cup, one of the tall ones. And then we get another tall one and we just cut the top off, or cut the bottom off, I should say, so that that sits inside like that. Yeah? And then all we do, we get a little piece of uh, ladies' tights. I'm sure you can all get hold of some of them. And then we literally put that like that, put that on there, fill a little bit of water in the bottom, and we just squeeze that on there like so. And it's as simple as that, nice and cheap, nothing fancy. And if you look in there, you can see that leaves a quite a taut thing there. And if I tip that up, you'll see the water come through. See it there? And what this does now, with the lid on top, um, we have a lid there. You notice there's no air holes or anything in this. We put the lid on it and that will give the area inside here because of the water that evaporates very, very slowly. These have been in here some time now um, and I've never replaced the water. It's the same water we started with. So it doesn't evaporate, it stays within there and it gives them a very humid environment so they can molt out and do everything that they need to do. And this I found is the safest way. I have done them in tubs on tissue paper the tissue paper dries out so quick, you're forever replenishing it, you're forever cleaning it. It's a real, it's a real pain, really. So doing it this way, um, I actually got this idea from uh, a, a good friend of ours, um, Steve Bass, and uh, he showed me how he, he kept some of his, um, what did he have? Oh, Hattie Hatties. He had Hattie Hatties in it, and I was so surprised, I was really impressed with it. So I thought I'd try it myself. And we've done all of our slings now over to this method and it works 100%. It's absolutely brilliant. So if you've got any slings, do them like this. Save yourself an awful lot of work. Right then, what we got left? We have got, oh, camera lady's favorite. H-Max. She's smiling behind that camera. Right. Give it here, my love. She do like these, I tell you. Now then, what we're gonna do with these, um, yes, same thing again. And we want 50 in there, please. 50. She's muttering I don't get paid enough for this sort of thing. Don't get paid at all. <laughs> Right then, can we bring this over here so um, everyone can see? Can you make some room for me? Has that got a bit of moisture? Yep. Is that something to get in there? 
right then now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do the same process as we've done with the OBTs but as you'll see these are much quicker now see there's no need to panic she's got it there's no escaping the camera lady In your own time, right? Here we go. Number one. Now, what we're going to try and do now, if I can get focused, what we're going to try and do is catch them in the pot and put them in this pot. They don't require exercise before leaving the beastie room. Now these guys are very, very quick. They're being very well behaved. Are we counting? Yes. We have a lot of people asking us, you know, how difficult is it to catch catch these um, these slings in numbers? And to be fair, it's not actually that bad. He says. There we go. So yeah, it's not that bad to actually catch them up. If you just take your time. We've got a good little system going here. I stand back and watch. The camera lady does all the work. Works really well. We can't talk to her at the moment because she's counting. Now you also see that although we're moving them in numbers, by having the tissue in the bottom, they can fall into the bottom of the pot. And then what they do is they scurry into the little folds of the tissue and it gives them somewhere to hide. So they're less likely to want to come back out of the pot. But as we get more numbers in there, it gets a little bit busier in the bottom of the pot and uh, they're more inclined to um, run out. Now I think as we're looking at these, oh, there he is, he's back. Ooh, look at that, you see how fast they move? Very, very quick. Look at these doing circuits, look at that. Hey, get back in there, you little fella. Go on. He's in. And it looks like as we're working through this that we're getting spiders bolting all over the place. Here we go. How many you got there? Oh, we're getting flashed now. Told you she was good, didn't I? Look at this, we are flying along. We must be halfway. 25. We're halfway. Forty. Forty, all right. Come on, you might break a record here. 41, 42, 43. I'm impressed. We're all in so far, no one's made a runner. Seven. Very good. Ooh, one on the jumper, one on the desk. Yeah. What was that one going? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. One more. There he is. 
Now, there's a couple of them looking close to malt, so we'll throw a few more in. We'll put another half dozen in, just for good measure. Don't worry about that one. Yeah. Three. Ooh. Oh, straight. Oh, and the one there at all. One gone down there. Yep. Three. Four, five. He's there. Here he comes. Ready. Six. And Lovely. Where did he go? Did you see? Oh, here he is. Look. He's on the floor. No, he's on me. He's on your leg. Seven. Right. He wanted it. <coughs> so then, we'll just tease these down once again. Put that one in. Hang on a second, because this one's wanting to go back as well. Hang on your finger. See. There. <laughs> he went in himself. Just that little fella up. Here we All go. Right Take it on there. Let's check. That's Set. fine. We'll have a little look in there later on, see how many we got left. We'll uh, just move these little fellas in. <laughs> I don't know. Because you were interfering, sweetheart. Is that what it was? Yeah. There he is. Right, okay, so we've got our bit of stuff there and that's them now that wasn't too bad was it right now then we can put them away now we're going to try something a little different um what we got what we got what we got now then now what we're going to do now is we are going to move Some chetes, which are the Malaysian earth tigers. Now these do get a bit lively in the evening, and we are now in the evening, so we will see how these respond. Let's just have a quick look in here. Look at these stunners. These are absolutely gorgeous. Proper, proper little spiderlings here, and you can see where they've all molted out. We've been waiting on these guys to molt out before we could ship them. You see all the molts in there. Now what we're going to do, we'll get a little bit more light on them, shall we? So we can give that a look. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Now look at the colour in there. You can see the gold colouring coming out on these already. Aren't they just wonderful? Right then. Enough of that mucking about. Notice they're kept in exactly the same way. So this time we are going to use these little tiny two mil pots, and uh, we're going to we're going to catch them up in them. Now these are a little bit leggy, and they're a little bit harder. And that's it. So yeah, we'll just clip that shut, and then what we'll do is we will put our little bits of tissue in afterwards. So we want 20 of these. Yep. And as you can see there, we've got plenty of room. I'll put a little bit of tissue in the other end in a moment. I'm just gonna catch these all through. So as you can see, we use different, different types of um, pots to, to transport different spiders basically and I've just started using these little two mil tubes and they're uh, they're quite cool how are we doing we're getting there we are 
are flying along, aren't we? There we go. You see the trick here is to literally catch them off the edges and try not to disturb the whole pot. Which is why I very rarely stick my hand in there because my hands are a bit too big for the pots and I normally end up knocking them flying everywhere. We need a gentle touch. Oh, yeah, he's on the outside. Here we go, look at that. Oh, we are getting flash, aren't we? Done enough of them. Yeah, you have. Now, we decided to actually pack these guys up singly because um, these are quite big slings. And... Um, we didn't really want to run the risk of them all being in together. Although they are all together now, sometimes putting them into a pot and in a mass thing. Look at the way he come out of there like a bolt of lightning. Are you going to get him? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Need to get him to run into the tube. The tube on in front of him, he'll run into it. Here he goes. Touch his bum. He's in, he's in. Got it. Hey, there we go. Absolutely gorgeous little spiders, these. Now, there is plenty of these available. If anyone's interested in these, the Malaysian Earth Tiger. Marvellous. That's them all caught up. And, um,. One little last look at them. Oh, aren't they wonderful? Look at them. Absolutely gorgeous little things. Oh, there goes one. Here he goes. Nice little shot of him. Right. Okie cokey. All right then, put the lid on that. I think now we're all, we are all done. And I think what we've done today is we've shown the different ways in which we we um, basically package up these slings. And you've seen different species of spiders and how some are a little bit more awkward than others. These guys, the little earth tigers, they went in beautifully, nice and easy. The H-Max, mm, bit of a different story then. They like to bolt out and go all over the place. But uh, yeah, you've got a good idea of what we actually do and, and how we move this stuff around. And we've shown you some really effective ways of catching them. This is it's quite a simple procedure if you just take your time. You know, be gentle with them. They're fine. We've also seen how we use our nursery pots, how we keep our young slings. And I must say, this, this is the, the best way so far that we've found. Works really, really well. Very cost effective, cheap and easy to do. So you've all got these pots at home, I'm sure. And uh, I'm sure you can all land your... Put your hand on a bit of stocking so it's really really nice and easy cost effective stuff right then well i hope you found that useful and um yeah i think uh, we'll leave it there and we'll get the rest of these boxed up all ready for the post in the morning and uh all going off to their nice new homes which i'm sure they'll be very happy about okay then well don't forget be calm be gentle and love your spider. Love your spider. <laughs> Cheerio.